Welcome back. This is Look Up News. Women MPs have vowed to support President William Ruto's constitutional amendment bill. Speaking during the Kenya's Women Parliamentary Association, Kewopo, they asked their fellow legislators in Parliament and Senate to pass the bill. Shadra Karira now reports. <laughs> President William Ruto's constitutional amendment proposals have continued to attract attention from different stakeholders in the country, with each party pushing for what will serve its interest. While speaking during the Kenya Women Parliamentary Forum, the women MPs derived from both political affiliations defended Ruto's bid to amend the constitution to announce to that gender rule, vowing to back the bill before the chambers of the bicameral house of the parliament. We must increase women's leadership and we must continue to push for spaces that amplify the voices of women. We've heard we have the goodwill. Why should we not leverage in that goodwill? Why should we, be, why should we not be at the forefront in leveraging on the goodwill that we really have? The National Assembly Majority Leader Kimani Chungwa, who was among the chief guests, made a commitment to fully support the women. And I only promised Harriet, when she invited me to this forum, that I'll be here, if not to say anything else, to give you my highest assurance that as leader of majority, I will do anything and everything within my power to mobilize my male colleagues, to talk to our female colleagues, to ensure that we do actualize this two thirds gender rule. Being the sixth attempt to amend the constitution to ensure two thirds gender rule. Ichungu assured the women that the majority will ensure this time. The bill says through. If we were to do what we were proposing way back in 2013 to have the two-thirds gender rule in a progressive manner and have the affirmative action over a period of about 20 years, those 20 years are almost lapsing and we are yet to start. It therefore tells us that we must do everything within our powers today to ensure that we implement this two-thirds gender rule in this assembly. On his part, the Deputy Speaker of the National Assembly, Gladys Bos Shulei, narrated some challenges faced by women in leadership. He asked the women to work together to ensure that the two-thirds gender rule campaign meets its target. I seek all of your support that when it does come before uh, that particular committee for the public hearing, do show up in numbers, even the women members of parliament. We can attend that committee meeting as friends of that uh, committee. In the next two weeks, we want to have a conversation with the street family. Right. Are you seeing that? Yes. We want to begin here in Nairobi. <coughs> those street children, those street young people, those street women, we want to gain seat with them. Shedra Kareria, Look Up TV.